Okay, we start off by taping up the wood blank we're going to use and sticking it under the laser and cutting out an outline of all the parts that we're going to be painting different colors on here. Um, this first pass, we're going to pull the tape off everything that's going to be painted brown and take it to the paint stand and paint it brown. Tape up the parts that are yellow. Go back to the laser. Laser off all the yellow parts, the pencil, the soccer ball, and the chess piece. Pull that tape off and paint it yellow. And of course, we're going to do the same thing with the silver or the gray part, the knight and the cap on the pencil. Now, everything is painted. We still haven't got the numbers etched into the soccer ball, which is what transforms it to a die. So we line it back up and laser in the numbers on the die. Next, we tape it all back up again so we can cut the piece out. I'll just take a few passes. I tape it up because I don't want to get too much burn or singe marks on the paint. Now, when the tape comes off, you'll see in a second, if you look at the chest piece, the yellow piece there, it's pretty clean. I want that to be smudged some, so I take the tape off and I burn it a few more times just so we get some nice charred, um, battle-worn marks around the the piece of it. Uh, I did notice that I forgot to cut out the little piece of wood between the knees of the knight, so we go back and cut that out. And now we're just about finished with this piece. All that's left is to weather it a little bit. So we take it back over to the station. I wrap some screws and nuts and little bits of metal in a cloth and just put some marks in it. Got a little nail here, so we'll put a few grooves here and yon just to give the logo a, more of a old, weathered, war-torn look a bit, if you guess. Now it's time to make the, the back plate. I um, usually make a, a, a handful of these, 10 or 12, whenever I make one. So we chuck up a wood blank into the milling machine clamp, line things up with the edges, clamp it down, and that's about all the setup there is for it. All right, we've got our clamp down nice and tight. Go over, make sure it looks good. Click the go button, and that's all we are. That's all we do. Not very Amish, but it works. There's a stack of finished um, back plates, and again, it gets the same distressed patterns that the front one did, a little more rough with this one. And now all that's left is to stain it and glue the logo onto the front of it. Yeah, put a little, a few grooves here and there. Oh yeah, I did decide to try to burn this one a little bit. I was kind of a wuss and didn't burn it enough really to show up after the fact, but I had never done it before, so I was kind of light on it. But there's the finished product. Um, thanks for watching.